guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Sarah and I have two little children Freddie who is nearly two and Ivy who is almost six months who I don't know if you can see but she's currently rolling around on the bed aren't you she can't fall off I've got pillows so she can't fall off so don't worry about that um today's video is a what is in the kids Easter box so um, I've been buying a few things since um, January, like as soon as Christmas finished. Um, so some of the stuff I've only bought recently, so I'll be able to tell you where I got it from and how much, but some of the stuff I might not be able to remember. So uh, bear with me, but this is what it looks like. And there are some other bits and pieces as well that don't actually fit in it. Um, so we will go through that. Um, bit by bit. So if I start off with the big bits that are in the hamper. So first off I got this ginormous Easter activity book. Um, it says three years plus on it and some of the stuff in here is too complicated for Freddy at the minute. Like for instance that kind of thing. But I just thought it's another thing he can scribble on rather than because um, he likes drawing we come into the end of our bits of paper and stuff um, and that came with a pack of crayons although he has got quite a lot of crayons already um, this is what I got in home bargains and I believe this was like I think maybe two pound of that um, and it comes with some stickers as well for them to stick in um, I don't think there's a specific place that he's got to put them. Not that he would anyway, but... Um, so yeah, I got him that to do. And this is not just on... Uh, not just on Easter Sunday. Like, this is for the whole... I say Easter holidays. He's not in school to be on holiday, but, you know, for us to do crafting and stuff. Um, the next thing that I got from Home Bargains was this Easter egg hunt kit again it says three years plus but although he can't read he's you know he'll be able to recognize the things so where you've got the carrot there that says follow me I'll be able to tell him to find the next one and whatnot anyway but in this it contains eight treat bags um, which I'll probably keep till next year because I've already got a bag for him like what are you doing <laughs> Um, one car gold card foil egg. Oh dear. Right, two seconds. Right, I thought she might want to join us because she doesn't seem to be happy on her back. So, yeah, in this you've got the one gold card foil egg, which I'm assuming is like the end of the trail. Uh, four sets of footprints and six direction signs. So I thought that was quite cute. And again, it can be used every year. Um, so I thought that was really cute. And again, I think this was only... Can you remember? I think it was only like £2 again. Not 100% sure on that. Um, the next thing that I got um, to go in the bag was this. Wasn't it? Yes. Um, it's just a little bag with a cookie cookie mix in it and a little bunny rabbit cookie cutter and it's a baking kit to create biscuits and decorate with lemon icing and sugar sprinkles so that'll be another thing that we can do um possibly i might do that on like the good friday so that um daddy can join in as well um but that comes with everything in there and then the little cutter so he likes he really likes baking at the minute he's been doing quite a bit with um my mother-in-law and um, he loves doing that so I thought that was a good choice um, <clears throat> next thing that um, it could go in the box but it ruins the aesthetics of it is um, a <laughs> yes it does look at you dribbling everywhere um, it's a gift for the dog um, obviously you can't do gifts for not all of your children and she was my first baby so this is just seven rawhide chips and she liked them won't she so yeah, I just got them. Again, they were probably not even a pound. Um, 
and she'll gobble them up. And I got these. Now these I got from a company on, oh dear, oh dear me, on Instagram. Um, can I have that please, darling? Oh, thank you. They're little wooden bunnies with their names carved out of them. And then they come with a little white and yellow bit of string. And I believe you can change the colour of this. I think it comes in yellow and white, blue and white and pink and white. But I thought I'd go for yellow. Because what I've got downstairs, um, which I'll try and insert a clip of in here, is um, I bought a like a little tabletop tree like I don't know if you've seen them people have them on their um, tables at uh, weddings and stuff but it's like a little white tree with little fairy lights on it um, but I've bought one of those that I'm going to have up all year round but I'm going to decorate it depending on the season so at the minute it's got some eggs and bunny rabbits on hasn't it for Easter so what I'll get the kids to do then I say get them it'll be Freddie because obviously you won't be able to do it just yet will you just hang their their names on them um so they can do that um but yeah like i said i'll try and put a clip in of the tree Um, and then the last thing that's not actually physically in the basket is this for Freddie's Easter egg hunt. Um, there was a plastic one I was going to get from Home Bargains that was 69p, but I thought how boisterous he is at the minute. He's likely to either try and sit in it and break it or he'll trip over with it and break it. So I thought for an extra 40p or 30p this was 9.99 and it's fabric and obviously it's got it looks like little carrots um but i thought that would be plenty big enough for him to collect all his easter eggs um i bought a pack a special easter egg hunt pack for him from i believe it was tesco's and there's like 12 in there or something ridiculous and they're about that big <clears throat> chocolate eggs but he he'll be collecting them he won't be having them all so guys this is the egg hunt basket i was telling you about i got it from tesco's and i wrote the price on this so i'd remember to tell you guys four pound for does it actually say how many look it doesn't actually say how many but <clears throat> that many anyway so they're quite a decent size but they'll be for his hunt and I suppose he could use this basket but I you know I preferred the other one but uh, now we move on to the actual contents of the basket so uh, this was again from home bargains my mother-in-law bought this because she likes Peter Rabbit and Freddie likes Peter Rabbit and as you can see it was 79p um, sticker book again like he won't stick the things in the right places but he does like putting stickers on things so <clears throat> I remember thinking when I was pregnant with him like oh we won't be doing stickers until he's old enough to put them in the right places because it does like freak me out a little bit um, that they won't be put in the right place but at the end of the day he's having fun so I've kind of had to push that to one side um, and then if he gets bored I can always do one properly that might uh, that might sustain me. You want to have a look? You want to have a look at the bunnies? Ooh. But yeah they've got um, loads of different activities on each page so you've got like a maze and then you've got to add the stickers in and then the stickers that are in the middle of the book actually tell you the page number that they relate to so obviously for older children because again i imagine this is can i have the book please i don't want paper cut thank you i imagine this is probably for like three plus again it doesn't actually well it says not suitable for children under 36 months so yeah it's a three plus um 
he doesn't put things in his mouth other than his own fingers or food so I haven't got to worry about him um, doing that you on the other hand anything goes in your mouth doesn't it hmm? she even tried chewing my foot earlier Ugh. Um, but yeah so that's that was what my mother-in-law got uh, 79p then <coughs> the next thing that I got from Home Bargains was this make your own easter egg um, again it's for over threes but um, he loves doing this kind of thing in nursery um, I had a lovely Mother's Day card from him and a um, Valentine's card from him that had bits of Bob stuck on it I mean as long as I'm not exactly going to leave him with it again he doesn't put things in his mouth but I would never leave him to do this on his own. I'd be with him. So it comes with, let's have a look. Looking at it, it comes with a couple of, oh, here we go, contains ribbons. There they are. Pom-poms, gems, glue, assorted, stop, I'm trying to read. Assorted shredded paper, egg-shaped card. It's non-toxic glue, safe for children, obviously. But um, I thought that would be something fun that we can all do together and he because there's two in there I can get him to make one for his sister as well so that'll be another thing that we'll do actually over the Easter period um, and the next thing is something in here for you isn't there so we got these in Toys R Us because the one that we went to is actually closing down um, so Freddie picked out these he picked one of each <laughs> little toys toy ducks or chicks or whatever they are um, and there's one for Freddy and one for Ivy I'll let him pick which one he wants but it says Pippins by Keel Toys Pocket a Pippin and I believe it was something like two or three pound not very much inside this one says my name is Chuck I'm a chick my birthday is the 17th of April I love tweeting so that's that one that one's quite cute and then this one says my name is Dennis I'm a duck my birthday is the 10th of April I love paddling um so yeah that was I just thought something in there for her to have as well because she obviously can't eat any of the chocolate uh next up we have then got I bought they came in the three which is good because obviously there's only three of us that can eat chocolate in this house in a minute three of these little smarties I'm assuming they've got like mini Smarties in them, it sounds like they have. Um, and I can't remember if I got them from B&M Home Bargains or Asda. I think it might have been B&M? I'm not sure, anyway. Um, they weren't very much, something like a pound, something like that. But there's those three in there. Then I bought these, I believe, in Home Bargains little chocolate carrots and they come in a pack of six um so that is two each although again freddie may not have them he's not a big fan of chocolate i said this before in the christmas eve hamper he's not a very big chocolate fan um so um if he wants to eat them he can um if he doesn't then he can have them another day um but yeah so there's just those little ones in there and then i've got this jelly bean carrot for daddy because daddy likes jelly beans doesn't he the amount of jelly beans that boy can pack away is ridiculous he could, would be a jelly bean if i let him eat them that many but they are just the orange flavor um, again i think i got these from bnm or home Gardens for like 40 p something like that i think um but yeah they're for mark and then lastly in the basket is, um, you may have seen this in my Aldi, Asda, Home Bargains haul or whatever, whichever one it was. Um, this Butter Kissed Sweet Microwave Popcorn from a previous um, shopping haul that I did. So I can't actually remember how much it was, um, but it wouldn't have been much. Um, and that's everything that's in the basket. So there's not that much chocolate in there, though, as I said, he's got. Um, an Easter egg hunt to do and if I can reach over and get this oh, 
Um, I bought him this Dairy Milk uh, Buttons Easter Egg to have. Um, Granny and Grampy want to get him an Easter Egg as well, so I've said to get another little one like that, and he'll probably still have it by next Easter. <laughs> but um, it's just something that they can get for him. But that's everything that we've got. Most of the stuff is more things to do um, than chocolate stuff that'll probably change as they get older but yeah that's everything that i have again the basket on the oh the only other thing in there i got is this like shredded paper i got a green and a yellow um again they were the pack one pack was about 40p something like that so i got two um the basket is reused from um the valentine's basket that um, I did again I think I mentioned I got given that basket um, with a Christmas present so I'm just reusing it um, and then it will go away until Halloween I think I think that's probably the next big seasonal thing um, to happen I think yeah so once um, Easter's out the way I'll put everything probably put everything in um, a box and then up in the loft until Halloween yeah then we do a Halloween one shall we would you like that would you like that hmm? should we say bye to everybody we say thank you for watching so yeah, if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you want to um, check the little bell next to the subscribe button you will get a notification every time I upload a video. At the minute they are being uploaded once a week on a Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Um, if I have any additional videos then I'll just slot them in around then but they tend to be once a week. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys and hopefully you liked it and I will see you on the next one. We say bye! Say bye! <laughs>